Oh, someone jumped off. Oh, what the fuck? Oh my god, dude! Oh my god! What is going on, folks? It's your boy Loin here, finally back in Rust, and I figured I would just hop in, start from scratch, since the server did just wipe, although the experience hasn't wiped yet. Apparently that's going to wipe on Thursday, this week, upcoming. But it looks like someone's having a fight with the helicopter over here or something. I just heard it shoot rockets. So I figured I'd start my recording real quick. I literally just spawn randomly on this map. I have no fucking clue what's going on. I don't have a base. I do have, you know, a lot of friends who've probably already gotten some things established on this, uh, seed. Yeah, so I heard some rockets and shit going on, and it looks like these people are actually fighting the helicopter right here. I wonder why it was shooting rockets. If it's shooting rockets, they're not doing it right. And I might be able to just, like, run in and get some shit if it busts a hole in their wall or something. I'm gonna try and take a look here. Oh, yeah, what the fuck? It's destroying their base. Literally just, like, spawned in after a wipe and this shit's going on. I don't want it to shoot me, though. You know, I don't want to get blown up if it shoots the base. I hear someone talking, but I can hardly hear them. It's really hard to balance the game sounds and stuff. Try and find the best settings, but... Yeah. Okay, so it looks like the helicopter is fucked off. Holy crap, this is damaged. Here, I'll auto turret back there. And I have it really I'm dead. just healing it up right now. Definitely stuff inside. Like I really hurt the helicopter. Bags. They're just gonna kill me if they come outside, if they still have shit. I mean, obviously they died in their house. It'd be cool if their gun dropped down or something. Fuck, I wish I had, like, survey charges. I literally just spawned. I don't have shit. Could have blown open that fucking wall right there. It's like two-thirds health. Let's see. This might be a situation where I call in backup if anyone has gear, you know, anyone that I know, because this is, like, too easy right here. That's, like, almost half health. It's like a couple survey charges and we're in. It sounds like the auto turret's right behind it too. Yeah, that thing's leaving. Uh, okay. Now we gotta check the damages. Oh shit. Check the damages, huh? Fuck. I literally have nothing. I wanna fuck these guys up, but like if I do anything here, they're gonna be aware of my presence. Unless I try and go through when they open the door, but that probably won't happen. What are they repairing? Oh, they're repairing stuff upstairs, okay. Holy crap, that door has 24 health. Oh my god, if only I had bone clubs and shit, but they'd know I'm here, they just shoot me, so it's like... Fuck. This house is really messed up. Fucking A. I hide right here, for now. I think one of the dudes went to the dome or something, because I saw him running off the, in that direction earlier, so he might have gear if he comes back. I just looted the dome when I was over there. Okay, well, if we kill him on his way back or something, then any weapons he does have, you know, like, if they're separated, you know? Yeah. Because I saw him run off, and he hasn't come back yet. Oh, someone jumped off. Oh! What the fuck? 
Someone just jumped off the roof. <laughs> and he, he was like wounded. What? Where is he? Where the fuck is he? You. Please have a spawn timer. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. What the fuck? What? What in the what? fuck? What? God. He just. What he, did you... he, he has shit on him. Like he, what? Like exactly. fucking lots of shit, dude. <laughs> like a shitload of stuff. Can. I'm gonna. Oh my gosh, killed him. Headshot, dude. He's dead. He respawned. I killed him. His buddy's probably gonna come back and try and help him now. Okay, I'm coming back with lots of stuff. Um, I've got like... Dude, he's got a spawn timer and shit. Oh my god, this is too perfect. How the fuck did he do right. that? Put days. flames in front of his door, dude, so he can't get out. Wait, flames? flames he dropped a flamethrower with... Like, what did he have on him? I can't- I don't have time to explain. It's just a lot of stuff. A lot of stone, like... We'll see. Okay. Probably gonna repair or something. He- he can't spawn, though, so I know I'm safe from him. It's just his buddy if he comes back, you know? Mm-hmm. Did- what was his name? I'm, like, literally shaking, dude. This is, like, too good. His name is... V Vortholus, I believe. Yeah, it's Vortholus. Dude, I just got two bolt actions, a fucking flamethrower, a semi-auto with like a little bit of explosive ammo and like full bone armor and bandages oh and gosh. shit. Wait, you got a semi-auto? I'm making one right now for you. I'm making but... a sleeping bag. Okay, I'm coming over with like um, some armor for you if you don't already I've, have I've some. I've got wood armor. He had full wood armor. I've got bone armor for you. I guess I can just stop this crafting then. He's definitely coming back, like. Mhm. Mm yeah. Oh, that's probably gonna go on his roof him. when he spawns again. Wait, it's these guys. Wait, where? I'm at the house with the this with the, the funnel roof. Oh, I see you! I see you! I see yeah, you I'm right here. Down the hill. It's me. Okay, yeah. I see you running in. Oh, I I've seen these bases before. Do you have stuff to break into up. this right here? It's half health. Uh, shoot, no I do not. I don't have anything. I, I can't even craft gunpowder right now because I don't have anything to smelt my sulfur. Uh, come over here real quick. Okay, well be careful because, you know, his buddy ran off earlier and I don't know if he's going to be on the way back soon or not. Bone armor, eh? <laughs> I got the Halloween pistol. Oh, fuck me. Well, let's just look. I kind of don't want to wear the hoodie, but I guess it's better protection, ultimately. It is. Well, seriously, dude, like, do you have shit to break in, or what's the deal? Because... I, I only have a rocket and a survey charge at my base, but no rocket launcher, and I need to smelt the freaking stuff. Newt might have some for us, but I highly doubt it. Actually, I probably have some stuff at my old base, but... What do you think then? Should we just really retreat me. then? Should I take what I've got from these guys and then hold on to it for now and then come back later? Because that's literally rags to riches, dude. Okay. Finally, returning with the shit to blow into this goddamn place. And of course, the people are offline by now, which is annoying, but oh well. We're Tholus. <laughs> God, this is so sad for him earlier, dude. I'm just, like, waiting for him to die outside. He just happens to die for some reason. <laughs> Gets that wrecked. kind of sad. But I think you could take out these two panels if you shot in the middle there anyways, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, I say shoot two rockets in the middle, or shoot one rocket, see how much damage it is, and then we'll go from there. But do be careful, because I do think there is a turret on the other side of that, like, right there, okay. so... Guys, are That's seriously why rocketing in through rockets. there. Well, I guess never mind. How much damage? Enough. Oh, what the fuck? Twenty-three damage. 
Do we have a grenade or anything? That's what's hard. Will it do I'll any splash damage at all? I'm really tempted to go for that airdrop right now, but I'm um, not going to. It um, is pretty close. It might be see. worth it. You might get an assault rifle, one of the new assault okay. rifles. Okay, Pika, you go. Go for it, Pika. Why'd you throw two down? Fuck. Is that all... What? I... <sighs> Bro. Bro, I swear they did more than or did less than that. Uh, that He's got a note, out. dude. What's the note say? Black How people. do I read it? J on, it and then on the right side, scroll up. Nothing. Thanks, man. Just sent you a friend request. Thanks for the codes and valuable information. See you soon, brother. By the way, this is Cowboy. Yo! In Yo interesting. The code is 1018. Really? Look at the note in the very. Are you like, serious? They left their. Like, they left yeah, their code. Check, oh my. Check the note. What? What the fuck? I've never had that happen before. That is such luck. Let's see. Not much good down here, though. There is some animal fat and stuff. A bean can grenade. You guys go upstairs? Cowboy. Vertholus. That's who I killed earlier. Ah, oh, let me man. throw, goddammit. Oh, nice. Complete shit. I mean, I got a metal face. Wood. Oh, there's a lot of locked chests. Whoa! Wood fucking days. Okay, so yeah, they still have some of the wood from when the fucking stacking got all fucked up earlier. So, that's a shitload of wood. So the reason that this shit is stacked is because I was playing around with some mods the other night, and stuff kept going wrong, so I actually removed the stack feature. Because I didn't want it being OP. I didn't want, like, beds and stone walls getting stacked up to, like, a thousand and shit. So, uh, the people that were online during the stacking when it was around, they managed to get up to 5,000 in certain resources. Um, so that's the reason there's stacks here. It's not spawned in. You can see that none of this stuff came from me. This is all Pablo, Freeman, Vortholis, etc. So, just to explain that for you guys. Um, and just to make it completely clear, the server is slightly enhanced with Gather, and it's the only mod that it currently has, besides, like, some under-the-hood stuff, like anti-cheat and rules. So, yeah. Uh, it's it's 1.5 Gather right now, instead of just times 1, so. Anyways. Oh, look, there's blueprints, too. Oh. Oh. Didn't even get the Where was- oh, there's a sleeper here. I didn't even notice a sleeper. He's got some ammo and shit. Double shotgun. Oh, that scared the fuck out of me. He's got another note on him, too. What's that say? Hey, cowboy, this is Vortholis, uh, the random naked you found in your base. I'm guessing Pablo forgot to tell you who I was, so don't worry about it, man. He said I could team up with you guys. <laughs> Oh, that's insane, dude. I've never had that happen before. And just considering the luck of, like, earlier when he fell off the roof. Wow. <laughs> wow. Stolen door codes, but the opposite way. Wow. Anyways, uh, let's break these fucking chests, right? Wait, no. You, I'm not oh, you just don't... Wow. Wow. I can't... Wow, okay. We yeah. can make two more turrets. So, what should I grab? There's like eight freaking SMG blueprints in there. Like, what the hell? I guess I'll grab, um, the sulfur. Because that's the most valuable. That's that's a good haul, guys. What, two rockets? Mm. Two rockets, two satchels, that's it. I'm gonna wall that off since we can get out. I'm gonna go ahead and seal this off. Is there a hammer anywhere? Yeah, got one. If you've got stone and shit, just go ahead and upgrade that. What's... What's, uh, dropping? Oh. Uh, I just had, like, a small amount of shit that I didn't fucking need, like, snare traps and shit. Okay. So I found another turret up here. I got authorized on it. Oh, yeah, they haven't even used that there. one yet. 
Dude, I can't believe that. Like, who would have known, too? Mm hmm. Free door codes. What was that? I uh, was shooting the turret. Okay. If you change any of the codes, Pika, change them back to what they were, and then just leave them, and then we'll see if they don't change them, because then we can just have access again if they don't. They'll probably change them, though, because they'll just think that someone incited them if all their good shit's gone. Dude, no shit. Yeah, 1018 for all the codes. Change them back, and we'll see what happens. Dude, god damn, the luck! What the fuck? The luck today has just been unreal. Now if we can just get a fucking assault rifle from an airdrop or something, that'd be awesome. What is going on, folks? Your boy Loin here, finally coming at you with more Rust content, and it's been way too many days since the last video was uploaded. I do apologize for that, but please keep in mind, I did just move, and let's be frank. Sometimes when you move, it takes a few extra days to get acclimated to your new surroundings and get settled in. So, I know you guys aren't typically fans of long-winded post-commentary intro explanations for footage, but I figured I would preface this video, because if I didn't preface it, you wouldn't really understand the full context of everything that's going on in the footage. So first and foremost, this raid is from the tail end of everything I recorded on my last play session in Rust. I started out with a really good rags to riches video, which you will see next. And the reason that I'm uploading the end of 